We're here with Lauren Boyle at the Millennium Institute and um, firstly Lauren I want to congratulate you on your three bronze medals at the latest Worlds and your, your winning gold medals at the World Cup. So it's great to have you here. Thank you. Hello, I thought um, we're just going to do an interview for our um, the members of State Ocean Swim Series and some of the people that are passionate about open water swimming and um, they'd love to hear from you about a few of the questions that I've got for you today and hope you can answer those. Um, the first one I thought I'd start at the beginning. Um, when and how did you get into swimming back in the, in the early days? Uh, well, my mother took me for swim lessons when I was six months old, so I started pretty early. Uh, but I didn't join a swim club until I was eight, and then I swam two afternoons a week. And I think when I was 11, then I got more invested in it and started the early morning training, and I guess it just kind of progressed from there. Great. And has swimming been in the family for you, or is it...? No. Uh, my sister swam for about two weeks and she didn't like it, so I stopped and that's the extent of it. Great stuff. And thinking back to those early days in swimming, how do you think those early years impacted on your, you know, your swimming uh, performances today? Well, I really enjoyed swimming growing up and I think that's probably the biggest thing. Uh, just really having fun with the sport is probably what kept me in it when I was 15, 16. And I think... For kids growing up around the water, there's so many fun activities to do, especially in New Zealand. So, mm. yeah, I think being in this country made it a little easier to enjoy. Yeah, it is important when you're younger to, to keep it fun. You know, I remember that with mine. But uh, that's great. Lauren, um, in terms of when you were younger, did you have any heroes, uh, a hero or heroes, some of the heroes, uh, you know, from New Zealand or around the world that you looked up to? Yes, I remember watching Daniel Lodo in his gold medal in '96. I was sitting in the lounge at my nana's house with my two cousins and we were so excited about his achievements and I think seeing that and seeing a Kiwi do something that not many people in the world could do is really inspiring. Fantastic. And you would have been how old then? 96. Uh, I think I would have been nine. Nine? Yeah. Wow. So it had a, a big impact on you. Yeah. And um, just into your growing up now, into your typical training week now, um, you know, in, in, in the weeks or months leading up to the World Champs. Um, what did that consist of? Can you give, um, you know, the viewers of this video a bit of a glimpse of what a week looked like for you? Yes, so I do most of my training here at the Millennium Institute and I swim about 70 or 75 kilometres a week. Uh, I also do four gym sessions and whatever else I feel like I need to do. Um, and then we went on a training camp for about two and a half months before the World Champs began and I spent three weeks up at an altitude training centre in Granada in Spain. And I always try to make sure I do some good racing before a competition. So I had a meet in France uh, after the altitude training camp and then we had another camp in uh, Castillon in Spain just to get ready for the competition. Fantastic. So most people in our ocean swims will probably train three, maybe four times a week, possibly less. Um, so 75 kilometres a week would seem pretty scary to them, but yeah. it's, uh, that's what it takes.